Hello? I just saw that over there. Is that... I, okay, good. Ship cart collected. That's great. I love that. I love to see a ship cart collected. Are you telling me that we've got a man at legs to deal with? Oh, honey, no. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we unlocked Hero's Hideaway after completing Serene Shores, and we had a really off-kilter first day here. <laughs> like, the first half of the day or so didn't have a daytime dial. It was pretty much the same as the tutorial. We beat the Gildemander, and then we had half a day left, and... We managed to scrounge a second part out of that, so that was pretty cool. And today, we're going to try to make some more headway in Hero's Hideaway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am still slightly flustered from the last episode I recorded, but, you know, I took my usual break. I have peanut butter chocolate chip cookies um, that I baked yesterday, so my shoved one of them in my mouth <laughs> as a reward for being a very good girl today. <laughs> you know, that actually inclines me to ask. Uh, question of the day. What is your treat yourself kind of a reward? For me, it's definitely handmade goodies and sweets. But if I'm feeling like truly, royally, and exceptionally lazy, then my treat myself thing is <laughs> probably just little pieces of candy. Like, I specifically am- ooh, well, at least these things go down pretty quick. <laughs> my treat myself candy tends to be, like, chocolates? Sometimes if the season calls for it, I might go for candy corn or something instead. But chocolate, usually always. I want moss for this. Hey, moss. Where are you? She's all the way over there. Uh, I don't like this. I want... <laughs> I want her around for all the ice Pikmin. Moss... Can you come here, girl? I just want to be able to grab these pieces of material in case they're any use at all. I imagine that the remainder of the parts are probably on the counter. And I don't know what it's going to take to get up there. Wow. She really is big enough to get these things kind of on her own. That's nuts. And let's destroy another one of these before it becomes a problem. So we know that there's one in the sink, so we're going to need blue Pikmin for that. We know there's one up here that's going to take a yellow gate to get. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. There might be something over there, though. But it looks like... Uh, it's difficult to see from down here. Last time I tried using my survey drone, I felt kinda nauseous and dizzy. At least we cleared the area a little bit. Just take this back faster. Are you serious? Grab it. <laughs> Come on, guys! Now that I'm done mashing buttons like a crazy person, I need to figure out how to get up here. Wait, does the fan lead all the way up? I thought it didn't. I'll give it a try. If I need to, I'll rewind time a little bit. I'm not gonna be shy about it. Not for these days. I really, really, really wanna make sure I can 
100% this, at least as far as the ship parts are concerned. <sighs> no. This just skates me back down. That's what I thought. Hey! No, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Get back here. Okay. And there was nothing that really led up there. How am I supposed to get here? What? Oh, come on. This is a game for children. <laughs> uh, I need to be able to figure this out. One would think that there's... a button. What's this? <gasps> ah! Okay, okay, perfect. That's what I was missing. Let's see how much we can get done. <sighs> I'm nervous about how much time I wasted, but if I can get back, like, the two parts that I know are up there today, then I won't consider it wasted. Okay. So one of the parts is past that bloister. I can climb up these to get up here. All right, cool. Let's stop you from getting in our way. All right, it's bloister time. It's a good time to use a bomb, probably, but I think we're gonna be okay. I know it's noon, come on. There we go. All right. And we're going to get that taken care of. Yellow Pikmin. I don't know if Moss is immune. Let me check. No, she's not. Okay. <laughs> I figured not because, you know, it would be Russ's responsibility to make sure that the thing actually works. But, you know. All right. Let's flower up. <laughs> Gotta love it when you can just aggressively airhorn everything. And you can just die from a bajillion little Pikmin. 100 mins. You gotta love the power in that. Okay. So all those guys carry that. Let's try to make it to the other side of the counter and see what's good. I think there's a set of buttons over there. Ah, yes. We've got a button in the stove. Red Pikmin, this is what you're here for, buddies. White gate now open. Whatever that means. And I guess I could go ahead and have you guys get started on this. I don't think I can hop up there until... Ah, okay, so I see another part right there, and I imagine the last one is probably in those jellies. If it is, that would be insane. Imagine <laughs> two-daying this place. That would be sick. While I wait on the Pikmin that are building, I might as well call back some of my blues. Whew, what a day. I hope you guys are having a good. Wait a fuck! Hello? I just saw that over there. Is that. I okay, good. Ship cart collected. That's great. I love that. I love to see a ship cart collected. Are you telling me that we've got a man at legs to deal with? Oh, honey, no. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> that is seven layers of no. Oh. <laughs> of course, of course. Why wouldn't there be a Dweevil for no reason on the kitchen counter? Oh, love that for us. Love that for me. <laughs> 
Okay. Let's see if we can figure out how to get to this Dweevil. Frosty bombs, frosty bombs. Very good. Fan now on. Okay. Am I brave enough to try to fight this thing? No. Am I gonna do it? I might as well try! You can't tell me that there isn't a part in there. Or, yeah, yeah. I bet my bottom dollar <laughs> that that is where it is. Okay, so it's five. There's one more somewhere. Where? Oh, no, no, there's, there's... Nope. Oh no. Ah. I'm sorry, dear Pikmin. Well, I no longer have moss. And it's hurry up. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna make this <laughs> the problem of Scale Tree of Tomorrow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I think I might want to take a small elite squad of yellows or something and perhaps use freeze bombs liberally. I'm trying- I'm already trying to think of my strat because otherwise I'm gonna be so thoroughly fucked. It's unreal. <laughs> In the meantime... How many parts? Yeah, five out of seven. I'm certain one of them is in that MAO. So I'm gonna command Moss to see if she can find any other ship parts. Oh, please, please don't. Oh, baby, no. Oh, baby, no. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Was there anything around here that I've missed? I would think that there would be one up by where Olimar's bunker is, but... There really isn't. I'm not expecting Moss to locate a ship part in eight seconds, but I want to see if she's going to lead me somewhere besides the man at legs. So far, it doesn't really look like it, I must admit. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, there is another one up there. Okay. Duly noted for tomorrow. Man, <laughs> this mode really has me stratting. <laughs> I have to do like, oh, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do then? What am I gonna do next? Oh, I see the little dial on his ship. <sighs> Guys, this is so awesome. I mean, you know how I feel about this mode. It's kind of stressful, but mostly it's just super cool. Today we got a repair type bolt, the Geiger counter, my personal favorite part <laughs> from Pikmin 1, and the extraordinary bolt. We lost only two Pikmin and it was to the M-A-L, so. Trachinator, very good. Only three days remain, and my efforts to collect all my ship parts are paying off. If I can keep collecting the parts I need at this rate, I'll be home soon enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I mean, I- okay. Listen, I know I can beat this thing probably tomorrow in-game, which means probably this episode, actually. But... I will be real with you, that was definitely spooky, and I feel like if I had gone slower at any given point, I would be freaking out right now. Thank goodness I do not have to resort to freaking out. <laughs> so here's my plan for this upcoming day. I'm gonna go up to the kitchen counter, and I'm going to have Moss sniff out for treasure. Wherever she goes, I'll deal with it, <laughs> whatever's there, and grab that piece first. This way, if I need to take it really slow and steady fighting the Mal, 
then I can. And also, it's very good to know that the cover, the pots, are things that can be broken by the Mal's... What's it called? Like, <laughs> shrapnel, shotgun blasts, lasers, whatever you want to call them. Projectiles, there. That's a good neutral word. Oh no. Part of me feels like I'm stalling because I'm scared. And maybe I kind of am. <laughs> to be perfectly fair with you, but, you know, <sighs> being a coward never won me any favors. It's only through bold action that I have gotten this far. <sighs> and Olimar needs that kind of boldness and bravery now more than ever. Okay. So once again, we're gonna go auto, I think. My life support system will run out in three days. I can't afford to dilly-dally. Don't worry. I would never, ever want to do that to you, man. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Why do I- I'm just trying to get this out. <laughs> Thank you! Come along, everybody! We've got very important things to do today. One delve, one dip. And we're back up here. So somewhere hidden in this area is a ship part. Come on, Moss. Lead the way. Wait, what? Hello? No, I'm not going to fight the Mal yet! <laughs> Girl, what? Okay, I'm gonna go over here and see if this helps. Come on, girl. I, I need you. I need your nose. Get me those ship parts, hon! I know there was elsewhere for you to go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Lead me over there. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was about to have a frickin' hernia, guys. Oh my god. Oh? Okay. So that's where the scent is coming from. Ah. Uh, that's what I thought. I knew there had to be something over here. Alright, little elephant. I'm sorry, but... Your days are far from... Existent. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's get more Pikmin on this, in fact. Alright. I want everybody to carry the things. Sure. You can go ahead and bring that back, too. Why not? Hey, guys. I need the extra hands on this part. I want it to go as fast as possible. We need all the time that we have to fight the Mal. Guys, I cannot overemphasize how freaking scared I am. The Man at Legs is definitely top three for least favorite Pikmin 2 bosses. And considering how difficult, like absurdly difficult Pikmin 2 can be sometimes, that's really saying something. I'm gonna take out a crap ton of reds because I want the extra damage. And I think being on moss the whole time as much as possible will help with the height. All right. Red Pikmin, spicy sprays, riding on moss, and running like a coward. Those are my plans. <laughs> and I might just use a lightning shock too. Okay. Hold on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, at least it seems to have low-ish health. Oh my holy crap. Oh no. Uh come on. Ah! 
Oh no. Oh, we're gonna lose some soldiers. Come on. Seems there's no use. Oh. Sweet mercy. You know, this thing looks... This thing looks glorious in HD. And I mean that in the worst possible way. Uh, we've got some brave soldiers meeting their end. Okay. At least it's easier to hit this thing in Pikmin 4. Oh my god. There's a part here too. Oh my god, guys! It was gooey! And it did have the last part! Ha ha! Goodbye, Moss. <laughs> See ya! Oh no! We did it! We did it! We completed Shipwreck Tail with two days to spare! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! <laughs> that was so sick! Oh my god! I've done it! I've done it! The SS Dolphin is fully repaired! Finally, I'll be able to escape this planet! The time has come to head home! I'm going back to Hakatate. Back to my family. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Gotta do what you gotta do, though, Olimar. <sighs> Man, are we gonna see the cutscene of of him and Moss in there? What caused him to crash again? Oh my god. The takeoff was a success. But as I exited this planet's atmosphere, I realized that Moss had snuck onto the ship and she was clearly suffering. I rushed to return the ship around and tried to land. But at that very moment, my life support system failed. she was stuck on that ship for two days or something oh my god repairs complete all 30 recovered parts four and a half hours of playtime man with 600 pikmin remaining <laughs> whoa wow i had a ton of red pikmin <laughs> it was worth it for that final fight Oh my god. Is this like a whole? <gasps> this is a whole full report. Everything that happened in exact order? Oh, this is so cool! You know, you can't tell me that there isn't a speedrun category just for Olimar's shipwreck tale. Like, maybe you don't need to speedrun the entirety of Pikmin 4, but you could totally speedrun this. <laughs> and I bet this screen could be very helpful, and it probably looks insane for people who are doing, like, minimum day runs, too. Wow. 
This is so cool. I've only been recording for 27 and a half minutes. <laughs> oh no. What am I going to do for the rest of the episode? Guess we'll find out. Anything special happen at camp? So that's the story of how I was pulled back to this planet. And how I lost my life support systems and woke up as a leafling. No. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the entire harrowing tale. Thanks to you, I've been able to remember so much. When I first became a leafling, I remember seeing a very interesting looking cave. It must be around here somewhere. Oh? Hi! Well, didn't you just come right the hell out of nowhere? Hi, Hi Colin! Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like it's been forever since I've spoken to you. Hey, dude! I wonder if this is the cave he was talking about. While Olimar was recounting his adventures, I spotted the entrance to a cave right here. For whatever reason, our radar never picked up on it. That must be why we didn't know it existed until now. What could be inside? <laughs> Is this the thing you guys were hinting at that I unlock something after beating Shipwreck Tail? So it has been confirmed that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. My treasure radar is going off! Yeah, that's awesome! Okay, okay, focus! <laughs> focus! Kip Kip, I need you to focus. I know that that's difficult. I know you want to talk to Yanni. And I know that there's a lot happening, girl. But, like, <laughs> I need us to both focus here. Wow, it's even... Do you see that? It's, like, rainbowy. The, the particle effects here? Oh, that's so cool. I was about to say, it's been confirmed to me that when you talk to Olimar for the first time, you do get access to Swallow. So if I decided to do Olimar's shipwreck tale in parts and continue exploring um, by day as Kip Kip as well, like alternating them like I normally would, then... That's something that I would have been able to use out on the field if I wanted Ochi to carry something. He could use Swallow instead. But I knew that there was something unlockable afterwards as well. Wow. Okay. I don't know if I have enough time to do whatever this is, but I am going to take a look. It just says A to enter. Oh. It's not even telling me what it is. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> You're just gonna make me live with the uncertainty? Oh no. No, I have no idea how long this is gonna take. What? Come on. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it yet. I'm not gonna touch it yet. Okay, so here's what I want to do for the rest of the episode. Because very clearly I have a significant amount of recording time left. I want to at least talk to Colin and see what the new area is called and get a glimpse of the preview. And then, since it's been requested, I'm gonna go around and talk to some NPCs as Ochi and see what kind of cute Ochi dialogue we can get. Since it's been, like, what? <laughs> Over 25 episodes since I last did that. So I think it's long overdue. First, Colin, buddy, hi! Hi, dude, how's it going? You doing all right? <sighs> Let's chat. This is another terrible angle to have a conversation. <laughs> Here we go. We've picked up a signal from the new area. It's most likely coming from that Copite veterinarian, Nell. Let's get her back here quickly so she can give Ochi a full examination. Yes, we need to cure Ochi of his leaf so that he can come back home to, I presume, Gia with Captain Shepard. I'm going to click the Ready to Explore button. Just to see. Which area would you like to explore? Ooh. 
Where are we going now? Giant's Hearth. For now, we need to focus our search efforts on finding the veterinarian, Nell. It'd be nice if she were in this area, but... But? What do you mean, but? There's no buts. This is the post-game area. She's gotta be here, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so it's confirmed that there are eight rescues in this area. I almost forgot that the Treasure Gauge Plus is something that was exclusive to Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, because now I can't tell how many treasures <laughs> or onions are there. So, rip me. <laughs> That's a- that's a little bit of an oof, not gonna lie, guys. And I can't even take a preview look- man, <laughs> This episode is, like, giving me the emotional equivalent of blue balls. <laughs> that's- that's fucking terrible. <laughs> oh no. No, this- <laughs> this, is, this sucks. <laughs> no, not really, not really. I'm- I'm not that- upset about it. It's just kind of like, <laughs> come on, dude. There's so much I want to do. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to go around and talk to people as Ochi. At least some of our new castaways, and I'm going to have a little montage with some of my favorites, cut and paste and all that. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I feel more at ease with you around. It helps me forget about him, if only for a short time. <laughs> Santi, what the fuck is your deal? Why are you so anti-Bernard, dude? Seeing you reminds me of that part-time gig I had where I put on a dog costume to hand out flyers. <laughs> you just know that Bernard showed up too. That he was, like, some other dog costume, or, like, a space cat costume or something. You just know it. <laughs> I'm- I'm absolutely certain. Oh, goodness. You know, you're almost as cute as Bulby. Aww! <laughs> Get Olimar home. He needs to talk to his dog. Or, the, well, spend time with his dog. Man. There's a glimmer deep in your eyes that tells me you've made it through countless difficulties. Oh, yeah, like you wouldn't believe. But Ochi still has that pupper spark. That's what makes him so good. Make Such vigorous breathing. You have the lungs of a singer, don't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only maybe. No. Oh, Ochi, aren't you just a happy little thing? I can simply tell by the way you project your voice. Oh, you caught my singing earlier? Thanks. <laughs> well, aren't you just so fluffy and soft? Wanna kick back for a nap with me? Aww. Oh, hey there, buddy. Look who's super happy today. I know, he's a good pupper. Holy die. Aren't you cute? Cuteness overload is the only way to describe it. Like, cute kapow! You got that right, Molly. <laughs> now that I think about it, if I feature you in my videos... <laughs> the views I'll get! Yeah, we gotta shoot together soon. Uh, you're gonna want to ask Kip Kip and Shepard first. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Hamoon. Hamoon. We have a lot of listings for dogs, too. Please let us help you if you ever decide to purchase a home for yourself. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Man, I'm salty that this castaway appeared out of nowhere because I bet he would have had really funny dialogue had he manifested <laughs> while I was on watch, but he just kind of showed up after that weird glitch between episodes 17 and 19. Not sure what that was all about. And there you go. <laughs> there was a lot of cute stuff, lots of love for the Ochi, <laughs> a little bit of exploitation as well. Thankfully, he is a busy working dog and doesn't need to worry about that. Uh, Kip Kip is going to keep him busy doing other things. It's going to be just fine. Anyway, 
With that, I think I'm going to end this episode. I'm probably going to put out a poll or something even before this episode comes out to see what you guys want me to do next. If you want me to do day missions and then the cave, or the cave and then day missions, or if you want me to alternate if it's something that I can, like, do piecewise, because I have heard that the caves in this game, you can escape and then return to however deep you originally went to, or whichever sub-level you prefer. So I'm going to see what you guys have to say about that before I get going. I'm super excited at either prospect. Giant's Hearth sounds like an amazing name for an area. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Pikmin 4 is just filling me with a lot of joy. <laughs> this is the 7,000th time I've said it, but you know, it never gets any less true. <laughs> and I'm not about to lie to you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.